Alyssa Farah Griffin, who previously worked for Donald Trump, is making it clear that it would be wild to have Trump, 77, in the White House for a second time. There is one discussion over the policy differences. That is something we can debate all day, she added. There is only one man who tried to overthrow our democracy, and that happened on January 6. We need to look at that as much more dangerous than the policy issues. The brunette beauty, 34, vented about how she's frustrated that many of Trump's former colleagues, including multiple former secretaries of defense, generals and a former White House director of strategic communications, have been outspoken about Trump's motives, but yet no actions have been taken. Trump's former allies have come forward and said Donald Trump is an existential threat to American democracy, and it's just not really changing the dynamics in the Republican Party, the View star noted before sharing she hopes things change before the 2024 election. We're still in the primary season, she said. I hope that anyone other than Donald Trump can somehow pull off a miracle and get there. But the closer we get to Iowa, it does start to look a little bleaker. This is hardly the first time the TV personality has been outspoken about Trump. Farah Griffin shared she thinks Trump isn't all there as he is close to being 80 in a few years. Listen, he has lost his speed on his fastball or whatever botched baseball metaphor. Farah Griffin, who previously worked as the White House Director of Strategic Communications under Trump, admitted. You can watch him, he is not as sharp as he was in 2016, and many of us would argue that he wasn't that sharp then. You see a real decline in him. It's a fact you can't get past, she continued before pointing out hypocrisy within Trump's army of fans. Our country is so polarized that Trump supporters see that and they don't think a thing about it. It doesn't really affect them. They say he's my tough guy, he's my fighter, but they see any gaffe of President Joe Biden's, and Joe Biden is aging and he's too old. It's a Rorschach test of where the country is.